welcome to Bad Food Blog. Today is a special one. I'm stuck at home like everybody else is in uh, quarantine. So, and we got uh, we bought a load of meat and we had a really large portion of pork, which as you can see its profile looks a bit like bacon. So I decided to make bacon. So I got some curing salt, some brown sugar and some pepper in here. 25 grams of salt, eight grams of sugar and about 20 twists of pepper. And I'm going to apply this to the outside of uh, this bacon and uh, well it's not bacon it's pork at the moment and I'm going to put this into the fridge and oh it's still got the skin on it so I'm going to have to remove the skin first and then I'm going to be leaving it in the fridge for a week basically or maybe two depending on what it looks like but first of all I need to remove the skin so let's get rid of the skin because the skin is not supposed to be on there. Actually, it could stay on there. Now, let's get it off. It'll only extend the curing time. This is an extremely sharp knife. Luckily, the skin's already... The skin's already been... Uh, how would you say? Um, scored which is just making it easier to remove I think I can get the knife down the seam between the skin and the fat I don't know if you ever, ever butchered a pig but as you can see there's quite a natural it's quite a natural division in the density which if you get a good paring knife like well this is a this is a meat knife specifically designed for meat it's extremely thin and extremely sharp and is very good for paring meat from bone and you should never do what I'm doing and cut towards your hand but when paring and slicing between densities you kind of want to feel what the knife is doing and you need to apply pressure to keep yourself on the right track almost there and if I just lift up, you can see it's lifting away on its own and just kind of cutting the fibres between the two layers here. I might put this uh, skin onto a grill. You've got like a griddle grill and turn it into a crackling pork scratchings. Because all pork scratchings are is that skin cooked at a very high temperature. And we're going to just let the knife find its way between those two layers, pulling it apart gently. There you go, it's just, see it's opening up all on its own, I'm really just cut the connecting tissue between the two, between the skin and the fat below. If you've ever skinned an animal, it's very similar to this. You don't want the skin on bacon. Fat's all right, but bacon rind is fat, not skin. There we go. That's much better. It's going to cure a lot faster and be a lot better. All right, we'll keep that aside there. Out of the way. Now, let's get the rub on the outside of this. Now, the majority, 80% of it, just goes on the top. It soaks into the meat and it finds its way into every part of the meat eventually. Don't worry about any of it spilling off. That's going to get added afterwards. I'm going to pick it up the sides. There we go. Make sure it gets into every crack. Liquid is going to come out. This is going to find its way chemically just by osmosis into every corner of the every corner of the meat over the next uh, nine to ten days. And you can see it's already changing the colour. Immediately, it'll start to turn it a darker colour as it as it chemically changes the meat. That's what the curing process is, and that's how you make bacon. 
So I'm going to have to turn this over once it's in the fridge. So oh, let's get that off of there. Get the rest of that all poured on the top there and rubbed in. And then let's get as much of this stuff off of the chopping board as possible into there as well. And that's it. That is literally the easiest thing in the world to do. Calling that cooking is going way too far. Place lid on tub. And the rest of this video will continue once whatever happened to this has happened. And I've got to wash my hands. So, and I might show as an extra at the end of the video, show me, me turning this into pork scratchings, which can be done under a grill. I'm going to use the Opti grill over there, or can be done in the oven. Thanks for watching. Part two will be in uh, two weeks. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see part two.